Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathani here and uh, guys, I have posted this challenge and uh, many of you have given the right answer and uh, I was very happy to see so many correct answers, 5-6 people have given very quickly. Uh, so let's discuss this problem, I'll be providing the solution of it and uh, so what is the problem statement there are uh, there is a regular uh, tetrahedron in fact uh, this is uh, true for in general any uh, such body whether uh, of four surfaces five surfaces uh, n surfaces anything can be given this will work uh, so the logic here is uh, we are going to use we have to find first of all uh, the force on one surface due to remaining three so what we are going to do is we are going to use f is equal to sigma phi so you need to check the video of uh, force of a cube on uh, nsp already i have derived this uh, result and when exactly we can apply so whenever force is perpendicular to the surface uh, we are uh, we are going to use this uh, logic blindly now another thing is what is this phi actually so uh, phi is flux passing through that surface where force have to be calculated due to the remaining three all right so i can say here if you check if you see this uh, tetrahedron we know the total flux passing through this right and that is the total charge by epsilon naught but only one fourth of it will be passing through this so this part minus if i remove the face of uh, flux due to this part which is going in this half outside so that will be the flux passing through this surface due to remaining three i hope it is clear to you what i am doing is this flux which is due to other three it is nothing but or you can say uh, the net flux which is uh, passing through this that is sum of the remaining three and the face itself right so this will come this side now i'm taking it other side so i can say here and this total flux passing through this will be due to all it is a uh, phi tetra by four if there are five five faces five uh, phi total divided by five if n faces are there then i'll be writing it as a phi total divided by n so i hope this part is clear to you we have to calculate flux due to remaining three passing through this so total which is passing through this part minus for the phase itself that is going to give us this value i hope this point is clear to you so phi tetra is uh, 4 q by epsilon naught q is the charge on one of the surface so let's substitute here and phi phase the total uh, it will generate q by epsilon naught and half will go one side and half will go other side so other side only we have to calculate so this will become q by 2 epsilon naught which is corresponding to 2 pi stay radian solid angle so now phi value is known to us q by epsilon naught minus q by 2 epsilon naught so let's substitute the value of q so uh, that will become sigma into area of this divided by 2 epsilon naught and once we know this phi, uh, this force will become sigma phi, which is root 3 sigma square L square by 8 epsilon naught. So I hope guys this answer is known to you and the method also is known to you. So now one hour is left for this 20% uh, off on your ITJ subscription and uh, last date is 30th June. You can use my code Nitin sir in order to connect with me on uh, Unacademy. We'll be starting from 4th of July, the last uh, round of advanced problem solving course. And uh, those who have written J means recently, they can uh, go for this rank predictor and uh, uh, you can get the idea of your uh, performance, expected performance. So that's it guys. And uh, uh, I hope I'll receive more solutions of yours in other three problems which I have posted. So thank you. Thanks for watching this.